Welcome back to MyFreedomSpokes.com. This is Keenan, and I got the OBS Alter Kit with us here today. This really awesome, uh, I believe this is their, well, I would call it gold, but it's it's the yellow version of the Alter Kit. Uh, really loving this pod system. Really, really loving this pod system. 70 watts in total. It goes from 5 to 70. Look at the production you get off this thing. I mean, that's basically a sub-ohm device at this point. Uh, huge pod, easily comes right out of there, locks right back in there just like that. No problems with that magnet. can really twist that, throw that around, nothing going on. It's such a sleek, awesomely designed uh, little mod here. Really digging what this thing looks like. Really digging how the weight is and the, the feel of it. And really, really, really digging the overall quality and the production of vapor that you're getting from this guy. Let's get inside the box and see what you're going to get when you pick one of these guys up. So, of course, inside you're going to have your user manual, which we're going to do a little rundown from here in a second just to give you some specs on it. Um, you're going to have an extra pod, the MTL pod, which I have not installed in mine just yet. Uh, again, with that being said, this one's not taped off the end. I'll pop mine out. It's that easy to pop this one in. That's your install. Before we get into any more further details on that guy, uh, you're going to get a little warning uh, atomizer user attention from OBS, which is always good to have. Two extra coils. Uh, you'll have the M1 installed coil, which is actually the one that I'm running right now, of course. Uh, it's probably the one with the most production here. Mine's wide open. Uh, on this thing, no adjustable airflow, but again, I'm running a, uh, that's actually 24 milligrams of, um, that's the uh, Strawberry Jam from Jam Monster, uh, 24 milligrams, sorry that ran right by my head. Um, and it's, it's tasting amazing and it's not killing me to be having that much production, which is awesome. And I'm not getting lightheaded, so it's really smooth. As you can see, it's so much production, which I love. Uh, normally I'm not a pod guy, but this is changing my mind. Um, and again, you get the, the second uh, Alter pod, which I just pulled out a second ago. You're gonna have that M1 installed in there. You're gonna have the drip tip, which also comes with, this is a flat tip. Let me go ahead and break this out and show you what it looks like. Because I have not even opened this guy up yet. This is a sample. And that's your 510 drip tip mouthpiece. Really nice looking. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Well, that'd be probably installed on the other side. Let's see if it'll solve. Go ahead and put that in the pod. Let's see what that looks like. So that's actually for the other guy. So yeah, the other one is a 510, of course MTL. That makes sense, so you're not gonna be able to install that uh, flat mouth, which you don't really need. I mean, you got much more of a bore on this one, so you're getting that production. Uh, and then you get that extra, what looks like to me, another MTL coil. Um, and that would be the Yep, you get two MTL coils. One, and this one right here is a .15. I'm banging on this being about the same. So they give you two of those MTL coils. And as you can see, you have the three little airflow chambers there. Um, these are also not adjustable as I'm trying to spin this around right now to change the airflow. Um, and these things easily pop out. So just to display how you would change a coil on one of these guys, your M1 is going to be on here. It's a totally different setup as far as the pod goes. Now, um, and again, we'll talk about the the two different. Um, I guess you know how much juice you can actually fit in each one. It says two mil, three point five mil, and five mil. I'm going to go with this being a five mil because the coil is smaller. This takes up a little bit more space. Um, I think this is like two point five two mils here. Uh, close to three. I mean, it really is. Uh, it's, it definitely holds enough, and it lasts quite a while. And I've been running this thing on 70 watts max. The coil, that M1's rated to 80. I mean, it doesn't even go up to 80 watts. However, uh, it's it's every time. Production, production, production. And again, that salt tastes great, very smooth, easy to, to vape. And 24 milligrams is actually high for me. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm getting, uh, getting a little immune to this after doing all these videos. Um, but there's that other MTL pod. Now the MTL pod is going to have that tighter, uh, tighter pull for sure. I can even tell, oh yeah, just by pulling through that. 
I would probably like the flat drip tip on that. And as you can see, if I put that on there just like that, that's the one that it's going to fit on. You're not going to be able to do that flat on here, and you're not going to be able to do the other 510 on here, as that is uh, basically an 8 board um, drip tip there. Now that's what that looks like. Perfect for MTL. I can already tell you, uh, I'm not a huge MTL guy. However, I can tell you, if you're bumping that that wattage, which you wouldn't want to run 70 on that MTL, of course, uh, go ahead and throw that out there. Definitely don't want to do that. Uh, you run that around 30 watts or so, or somewhere around there. It's going to be a really good vape for those who like that. Um, but I'm going to test this with the with the uh, M1 mesh today. So <clears throat> before we get into some specs on the mod itself, let's go ahead and talk about how you fill this guy. So let's say you want to take this pod out. Now again, it's magnet, but it also has a latch. So look, if I literally see how that just comes right up. And again, that's kind of amazing. That doesn't no noise. I've been kind of weird about these magnets and everything else on some of these pod devices. The thing slipping right out. I mean, I've literally have all but thrown this thing across the room. You can't get that out. It's not. It's not coming out. You're not going to shake it out by the top. Um, I'll probably end up loosening and pulling the drip tip out if I keep doing this and even still barely loosen that up. So that's a really awesome, but it's this easy. Look at that. Bam, comes right out. Slides right back in. There's a little latch on the end of that that actually locks it into place. So when you go, snaps right in. Magnets, really awesome. The way that's built, I love that. And it's just so easy. So we take that pot out. Again, how you would take out the coil uh, before we get into anything else is it literally pulls right out. So you'll like basically shimmy that up, bam, there's that, there's that coil. I'm not going to do it this one because it has juice all in it, but as you can see, that's that easy. And then it pops right back in. Now, how you would fill that once you have your coil intact and everything's good to go, which is that easy, you just pop it right in and it's good. Um, and it seals really well. I haven't had any leaking issues. I have a little juice on there now just because earlier on I accidentally pulled the coil out just to see how that worked and I forgot that I had juice in this so it's kind of leaking on this end but that's not from usage and you might have a little residue on there but it's not nothing like what I just see right here just from that leaking out from me. Um, so on the top there's a little arrow. You push down on that and you slide forward. Bam, there's a gasket. You get your bottle in there turns right upside down, fills up super nice. I'm kind of low right now, but before, I'm not gonna have to fill this up with it. Yeah, there's quite a bit in there. You even get a little juice window. Um, if you look over here on the back side, you have a little window. Kind of gives you a little idea. If that thing's full, you're definitely gonna see juice there. But on the front, you can really see where your juice is at. So mine's really low, um, but that's cool. They give you a little window, especially, and good airflow chamber there. Your airflow is on the bottom. As I said before, mine's wide open and this one is not adjustable. Uh, two big slits on each side uh, create that production. I feel like it's, it's a perfect vape for me, especially with this pod. I mean, it's just really impressive. Um, really, really digging this. Uh, and that's, that's how you would fill that pod. And again, it comes out so easy. You see how easy that is? It's almost crazy that you can shake this and throw it around and nothing's happening and it's just, that easy. I mean, I'm not even barely doing anything at all just to get that up. But, and it reads your coil every time you put it back in. Cool. So let's talk about some of the specs here. Uh, so the American's really nice. So the overall weight, 27 grams. It's a uh, zinc alloy. So this thing is not heavy at all. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a glass on the outside, uh, but it definitely feels like it could be some kind of glass. There's a fetch out there by Smoke Tech that has that glass, the etched glass. This feels just like that. Uh, I really like it. Um, that being said, of course, if you slam it on concrete, that's going to cause an issue. Um, one other thing, Type-C charger. The charging port in this is a Type-C. You're definitely going to get a charging cable with this. It's in the very bottom along with an o-ring for that pod, there's your Type-C charger cable. So let's not forget that guy right there before it's too late. Um, and moving on forward down, you got that 2 mil, 3.5 mil, and 5 mil capacity in those pods. Uh, it is a top filling system. Uh, your, your weight of the mod overall, again, the zinc alloy, it's very, very, very light, great to grip, but it has a little bit of weight to it, not too bad. Uh, Power is 5 to 70 watts. Current is that uh, 60 
A, and then the operating voltage is 3.3 volts to 4.2 volts. Resistance range is 0 0.1 ohms to 3 ohms. Uh, your time cutoff is 10 seconds. Charging voltage is 5 volts. Charging current is 1.6 amps. And uh, that's pretty much, that's, that's the rundown, just a simple rundown of it. Now, powering this thing on and off is, of course, button five times to power on and power off. So one, two, three, four, five. Mine's powering off. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. And it'll say goodbye when it powers off. One, two, three, four, five. OBS pops up, it's back on. Power locking is super easy. You're gonna click one of these directional buttons, whether it's the positive or the negative, three times. One, two, three. It might unlock, but you have to put it a little faster than that. One, two, three. Quick, unlocked, I can change the wattage back up and down. Of course, your negative and positive is gonna change your watts uh, after it's unlocked. Uh, your atomizer check, uh, atomizer unload, faulty install atomizer, open circuit system will show check atomizer. If you're having an issue with your atomizer, it's gonna show up. And I kinda tested this theory earlier when I took the coil out and put it in uh, kinda janky just to see and it literally said check atomizer so we know that that's a safety feature there which is good to have. Atomizer installation, we talked about that earlier, that coil pops right out of the bottom, super easy to install, that's on both the MTL and the M1. Um, overtime vaping, vaping time is set less than 10 seconds if longer system will stop the function. So if you, basically continue to vape this uh if you can just, nobody can hit this for 10 straight seconds i don't think it's going to automatically shut off great power uh saving and and potentially uh safety feature on there definitely want to have that low resistance of the coil resistance is lower than 0.9 ohms system will show low resistor so it probably will not fire i have not tried that i don't even know how you would get that that low um and again that being said you don't need that but it's good that they have that incorporated um, battery low voltage, Ultra Kit has both low voltage and weak battery protection. So if it gets low, it's going to definitely kind of low power mode to save your battery and uh, potentially just for safety reasons, it's not going to try to push too much out as it shouldn't. I mean, you're not going to need to be pushing a ton of power out of this thing if it's right at its dead peak. That can be kind of dangerous, so that's a great thing OBS did there. Um, the PCB board temperature protection. If PCB board temperature is too high while the constant vaping system will show too hot. So if it gets too hot, it's definitely gonna let you know. Uh, the PCB board will stop outputting power. User could vape after PCB board. So basically if it gets too hot, it's gonna cool down. Uh, then you're gonna be able to use it again. I have vaped the crap out of this thing and I have not overheated it. Uh, it's kind of cold here in North Carolina so I haven't really been much in the heat but inside my house while playing video games or whatever this thing is I mean it's hard to just completely destroy um, and that's basically it for the altar kit I'm rating this guy a 10 this thing is sick and design quality overall usage and perfect for me and did I not mention before uh, it is that 2300 mAh battery so there's that in there. I don't know if I actually threw that in there. And of course, the, the shock protection is another feature, but I still don't trust dropping this on the concrete. Glass kind of scares me, but it also looks really cool. You guys have a great day. It's Keenan.